It's time for some safety tips with Captain Safety and Short Circuit. Hi, I'm Captain Safety. And I'm Short Circuit. And we're here to give you safety tips. Hey, Captain Safety. Did you know that every 18 seconds, someone somewhere is injured on the job? I know, it's terrible. But you can easily avoid being an accident statistic. Today, we're going to teach you how to avoid workplace hazards. <laughs> Examine the substances, equipment, and situations that are part of your job. Look for possible hazards. Fire and explosion, electrical shock or burn, chemical exposure. Look for anything that just doesn't look, smell, or feel right. And take action to eliminate or minimize hazards when you identify them. Organize your workspace for safety. Some hazards are so common you really have to sharpen your safety senses to see them. Materials on the floor could cause a slip, trip, or fall. Someone could bang into an open drawer. Carelessly placed sharp or pointed tools could wound someone. Chemical containers could spill and cause toxic exposure or a fire. Also, overloaded circuits could cause fire. Always use proper protective clothing and equipment. That's right. To prevent workplace fires, you should look for overloaded circuits, frayed insulation, loose ground connections, contact with combustibles, or unapproved equipment. Also, watch out for flammables and don't smoke. When lifting something, remember to lift with your legs to prevent back injury. Or even better, use a hand truck or a dolly to move loads. That's right. Tools and machinery can also be hazardous. Wear protective equipment. Keep machine guards in place so that no part of your body will get caught in equipment. Check for hazard causes like boxes piled on the floor, cords and aisles, and loose carpet or linoleum. And most of all, just use common sense. That's right. Well, we'll see you next time. Be safe. Captain Safety, away! Whoa! Hey, <laughs> I think I'm flying. <laughs> Thanks for watching. More episodes of Captain Safety coming soon.